Hi, I'm Kep Kepner, CPA here in Dallas. It's very interesting. I've had a couple of calls this tax season of people saying, well, what would it cost to do this? Because my CPA seems to be going up on his rates every year. Well, the reality is, if it's like most CPAs, I've got the same issues. The bill I get from my software supplier goes up every year. The salaries of my people go up every year. My rent goes up every year. My communication cost has gone down a little bit. My gasoline cost has gone down a little bit. But you take out gasoline out of the equation and the consumer price income uh, index is up about 10%. So the reality is for most tax preparers and most businesses, they have to increase their tax or their uh, that, that, that. So for most businesses, they have to increase prices to keep up with their increased costs. And we do the same thing. So we find that that's the real world out there. And like anything, if we get too high price for something, somebody else is going to come in and say, oh, well, we can do it for less. And we either have a strong relationship with our client where they know they're getting the real value, which is more than just doing a tax return. It's about giving really solid business advice along with it. Then they're going to say, okay, it's worth it to stay with Kepner & Company because we don't lose many clients. And so the reality is you should expect price increases from time to time from not only your CPA but from other businesses that you do business with. So how does a CPA decide how to do your work and charge you? Well, in most cases, the formula is an hourly rate times the number of hours it takes to do your work. So a CPA, if they're really efficient, can find a way to lower the amount of time to do your work. And if they do that, they can keep costs pretty much in line. They can't. That doesn't change the fact that if it takes two hours, it'll probably take two hours next year and two hours the next. And maybe the next year it'll take three because of something strange like Obamacare or some other tax change that affects things. So it's reasonable to think that hourly rates will change. So that's why rates go up. There are a lot of CPAs, myself included, that thinks that we should bill on a value basis. So if I get you through some business function that saves you $10,000 and it's going to save you $10,000 this year and next year and next year and next, next year, what should I charge you for that? If, let's say my rate's $250 an hour and I take eight hours to do it, so that's $2,000. Should I charge you $2,000? Or is the value for that $50,000 you're going to make over the next five years more than $2,000? Well, value billing is designed to let the client and the CPA assess the value of the work and bill for that. So we continue to look at those opportunities with our clients. It depends on the client. And from the CPA standpoint, if we're able to make our rates, that is bill everything we can bill and get paid for the work we do at the hourly rate, then we're going to feel like that's acceptable. I would think in most cases, if we value bill, that we would end up making more money and the client would end up being better educated on the value of the work we do. So we always consider that. But very often we also fall back on the fact that we've got to make our rates also. For some CPA firms, the, one that's, the ones that work 80 hours a week, there are only so many hours in a year. 80 hours a week will basically wear somebody out and after 10, 20 years of doing that, they're not going to want to do it anymore. And there won't be many young CPAs wanting to do that work either. So the reality is, we're based on a 
per hourly rate basis for a lot of our work. And I control it in Kepner and Company by making sure my staff doesn't work 60 hours or 80 hours a week. We're working those 40, 45 hours a week. And that's the way that we get our work done. We have the right workload for the right people. We have the processes in place to do our work efficiently and to keep the costs under control. And by the way, what I'm telling you about me should be applied to you. If you do those things in your business, you'll make a lot more money. You'll have a life outside of your business and you'll be able to achieve your goals. So if you need help doing that, we'll be glad to share our processes with you and implement the strategies that can get you to the same place. Oh, and by the way, we've had 40% growth in the last three years. So it works. If you need help, give us a call. Thanks.